Hi everyone! I hope you're all safe and healthy. In this video, we will talk about sleep and its functions. Sleep is one of the most important actions of our daily lives. Some of us enjoy sleeping a lot, whereas others think of sleep as a waste of time. But do you know why we sleep and the benefits of sleeping? Unlike common thought, sleep is a metabolically active state. This means that the brain uses as much oxygen as awake states during sleep. So, why is sleep different from awake states? There are several theories about reasons for sleeping. Repair and restoration theory suggests that our bodies require sleep to restore its physiological functions. The energy conservation theory, on the other hand, suggests that we sleep when we need to conserve our energy, such as when it is difficult to find food. This theory approaches to the question of sleep from an evolutionary perspective. One major theory suggests that we sleep in order to process the information we obtain during the day. Finally, the hedonistic theory suggests that we sleep because we like it. There are two main stages of sleep, non-REM and REM stages. Non-REM stages include varying brain electrical activity, and deep, dreamly sleep is in the non-REM stage. This kind of sleep is also called slow wave sleep. REM sleep, otherwise known as rapid eye movement sleep, is characterized by brain waves similar to awake states. So, increases in heart rate, blood pressure, and neuronal firing are observed. The increase of neural firing is believed to be the cause of dreaming. REM sleep is thought to be the stage when information processing and memory consolidation occurs in the brain. This is why it is recommended by many scientists to get some sleep after learning new material, instead of pulling all-nighters before exams. Importantly, studies have demonstrated that sleep restriction in children results in impairment of cognitive functions, such as creativity and abstract thinking. In adults, sleep was found to clear molecules in the brain called amyloid beta that causes Alzheimer's disease. So, poor sleep is a risk factor for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. Many studies have revealed the role of sleep in health. It was seen that sleep deprivation resulted in weight loss in healthy rats, although they consumed food normally. These rats were also seen to develop infections which shows that sleeping may actually boost the immune system. Indeed, it was seen that small molecules called cytokines, which are involved in the immune response, regulate both non-REM and REM sleep during an infection in the body. This implies that our bodies require sleep to fight off infections. In short, we can simply say that sleep is crucial for our physiological and cognitive functioning. Unfortunately, there are many disorders of sleep that people are suffering from. Nocturnal enuresis, or more commonly known as bedwetting, and somnambulism, also called sleepwalking, are some of the problems associated with slow-wave sleep. These may be due to genetic, environmental, or physiological factors. Other sleep disturbances include nightmares, night terrors, which are characterized by severe nightmares that cause screaming and sweating in sleep, narcolepsy, in which a person suddenly falls into REM sleep, insomnia, which is the inability to sleep, and sleep paralysis, in which the person is unable to move upon waking. So thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for further videos, please comment below. Also, remember to subscribe to Brain Bigios for quality psychology content.